Hello students, we are learning about Horace Pippin. He's an African-American painter that used to paint with nice, flat, simple shapes using stripes and different bright pops of color like red to create these familiar scenes with people. I'm seeing rooms of a family with lots of detail. What do you see in this artwork? I see furniture, little tchotchkes on a mantle, arrangements of flowers, and bold flat colors. I see people playing games. They have books, and different activities in their home to enjoy as a family. So you are going to create a pop-up 3D room inspired by Horace Pippin. You'll get a long, firm piece of paper. You're going to swoop it over to fold it perfectly in half. I hold the two tips and then slide back to make my fold. Next, you will use a ruler to draw a stop line out from the edge. You can also use the ruler to draw both sides of what will become a tab. I will use scissors to cut those lines up until I hit the stop line. Now that I have little tabs, I can wiggle those teeth back and forth so that they have a nice fold. When I open up my card, now those two tabs can be pushed up to create three-dimensional shapes. Use a pencil to begin to design your room. You can add a rug. You can add backs to chairs or sofas. You can add the arms of those chairs or sofas on the pop-out part. You can start to use colored pencil to nicely color in your art. I know my hand is in the way here, but I'm adding some dots of color to show the fluffiness of my chair. And then I'm using short, even strokes to color in that chair lightly with my colored pencil. So red on red shows the folds and nooks and crannies of this stuffed chair. And when I color it nicely, it will begin to look like fabric. And then I can do the same for a blue chair. And next I can decide about what I want on the wall. Will it be pictures, photographs? Will it be a window, you can decide. I turned this one into a beautiful landscape. All of the details in your picture, whether it's toys or pets, rugs, tables, games, it'll reveal something about you and your family. Maybe one chair represents one member of the family and one chair represents another. Maybe you guys like nature or playing games. So this is an example of the tab you will cut if you are making a table, the tab you will cut if you are making two chairs, and the tab you will cut if you're making a big wide sofa. These are just small examples, but you can see the size of the tabs that you will make. And here's some finished examples. Once you nicely color your table and your window or your pictures with colored pencil, you'll be able to use some oil pastel to paint in your backgrounds. Either natural wood colors or light, beautiful wall colors. So that's one that's ready to be colored with oil pastel. And I hope you enjoy this project.